When my dad asked me if I would help introduce him today, immediately I had a giant lump in my throat. You're sure, I said. You have a million people to do this. You're sure that it's me. No, I'm sure, he said, I'm sure. Not only did I have to speak, I had to write what I was speaking, and not only did I have to write it, I had to write it about my dad, born and raised in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, receiving his star in Los Angeles on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Where do you even begin? How do I capture that in a three-minute speech? <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Thanks to my dad, I was lucky enough to grow up around the world of film and television. It's what made me want to be an actor, dashing my parents' hopes and dreams of me having a steady job with a steady paycheck. And in growing up around it, I was able to see so many of Dad's iconic characters being brought to life. I remember watching him get fitted for his two left feet and his buck teeth for best in show, with zero context at the time, by the way. <laughs> I got to see him refine his guitar skills as he prepared for his character as Mitch in A Mighty Wind, which was amazing to watch. Less amazing when he would refine those skills standing in the doorway of my bedroom, playing the same song over and over and over and over again as I studied for my final exams. When it came to parents' jobs, my dad's job was definitely the coolest, but I was certainly the only one of my friends who, when visiting him at work, would find him getting his hair and makeup done. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, what's the best advice your dad has ever, ever given you? He's given a lot of great advice over the years, but there's one phrase that stuck with me that makes more and more sense as I get older. Put the blinders on. As a teenager, that really just sounded like a command, an annoying command. It's only now that I realize the significance of what putting the blinders on really means especially as a new parent navigating the working world. How important it is to zero in on what you're trying to accomplish and cast aside anything that might not be serving you in the moment so you can get the job done, whatever that job may be. Drown out the background noise. I tell myself more frequently than I ever thought I would, put the blinders on. My 14-year-old self would be rolling her eyes. My 37-year-old self stands here in awe of my dad and his accomplishments throughout his 50-plus year career. I'm continuously amazed by his stamina, his attention to detail, his passion, and his unwavering dedication to his craft. He takes such pride in ensuring that the final product is, a, it is as good as it can possibly be, and watching him, watching him work reminds me that even if perfection isn't possible, it doesn't mean you shouldn't strive for it. I'm grateful I got to experience that firsthand, not just as his daughter, but also as a colleague, watching him co-create the world of Schitt's Creek and all that it became. Ultimately, He's shown my brother and me how important it really is to do what you love. I think most, if not all, of his success comes from the fact that he absolutely loves what he does. Not as much as golf, <laughs> but close. He's kind, he's patient, makes a great bagel brunch, and cannot start eating a burger without a Diet Coke with ice that should only arrive when the burger arrives. And don't forget the Dijon mustard. He will not let anyone touch his hair. Except my son James now, and I'm sure you're just dying inside when James grabs the front part that's been really well coiffed and pulls it right in front of his face. He's an animal whisperer, a great bowler, a daydreamer, sometimes to a fault, and of course, one of the funniest people I know. And I'm certainly not alone in that sentiment. Dad, we are all so incredibly proud of you and are so thrilled to be here today to watch you receive your star. You've proven that if you put the blinders on, you can achieve anything you want. And I only hope I can show James the very same thing as he grows up. We love you so much, and we can't wait for people to walk all over you. Thank <laughs> you.